So today we're filming. Um, we haven't even advertised that we had, not advertised, but even said that we had two baby turkeys. We don't know if they're male or female, but we're guessing it's a male and a female. Three um, and a half weeks, roughly. Roughly three and a half weeks, and we're playing around with Noah and the turkeys, uh, trying to get them accustomed. We don't have them outside yet because we think they're a little too young, even though it is Florida and it's pretty warm out. Next weekend. Next weekend we'll be taking them out, and yes, they found uh, the litter on the floor from the shredder there that I took out earlier. And the kitty cats over here. This is Asia. We, har we hardly ever show her. And to be honest, I don't keep house spectacularly. So I don't normally show videos in the house. Our carpet and stuff ain't great. But anyhow, so we just thought you might enjoy. Look at Noah. Yeah, Noah. They walk right up to bottom of his nose. They play this tail. Trying to get Noah used to these little baby turkeys. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't want to make a meal out of them because they're like a bite and a half. <laughs> yeah, my, my my husband is the turkey lover. I love the turkeys too, but I like our chickies too, but not as much as the turkeys. <laughs> I what what the the difference is is I prefer the chickens because they don't they're not as needy. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, they don't like to be petted as much, but I like watching them pick for bugs and what not. Whereas the turkeys are very inquisitive and need to be right where you're at. And like humans. They like humans. So these are sweet grass turkeys and with sweet grass turkeys, just so everybody knows, they are a bronze turkey. But what happened is there was a farm in Montana and I, it, as a matter of fact, I think the farm was called Sweet Grass Farm. And they're a um, heritage breed, right? Yeah, they are a heritage breed and they are a bronze turkey. But what happened is they had some bronze turkeys that were showing a different color, so they went ahead and started breeding out that color, which is the sweet grass color that we know today. Now, a lot of people immediately think that they are the uh, palm turkeys. But they're not the pomp turkeys. Pomp turkeys are pr primarily black and white. And the sweet grass turkeys have also bronze, a, brown, a brownish, a, a brownish red color in them, a third color in them, not just black and white. Now, our mama, uh, we call her Sugar, she is pretty white. And I, she might have a little bit of tan in her tail, but for the most part, she doesn't have a lot of color. So they can be pretty pale, and I can see why people mistake them for the palm turkeys. Now, with the royal palm turkeys, they're native to this area, but I do know they're not a good eating turkey. We don't eat oh, our turkeys. Either. We have them here more or less for for pets but um, if you were considering eating turkeys you would not want a palm turkey from my understanding that they are small and their meat isn't as good as a heritage turkey so that is what's going on with our turkeys right now they are checking out the dog toys and um, they pretty much, this is their first day out of the tote. But they have been flopping around. Not the first day out of the tote. First day of walking around the living room. <laughs> yeah, first day walking around the living room. Now, my husband. Every he get, day for two hours. <laughs> gets them out every single day for two hours and loves on them. And he's been making them stay on his lap. But today they decided to fly off of his lap and walk around. Yep. And we decided to let them do just that. So, um, and for some reason the names Samson and Delilah are what we're hoping for. But chances like are... Two females. <laughs> chances are we might have a Samson and Samson and we might have a Delilah and Delilah, yeah. which all that's good. But this is... Uh, 
This is what we got going on right now. And does Noah care? He don't Not care. Not really. He's getting his belly rubbed. <laughs> no, I was just mentioning to my husband that maybe this would be a good um, time to to uh, let the, the turkeys and the dog interact for future times out in he's the yard. Used to, he's used to the older ones. He's used to the older ones, and we have a couple wild, uh, you know, we have a couple turkeys that wild nest, that's what I call it, they decide that they're going to nest in the yard instead of come inside, and um, the problem with that is we don't always know where their nest is, and then eventually, sometimes they just disappear. Um, we got we, wild turkeys in the area, too. And we do have wild turkeys that lure off our little girls. And another thing that happens is I don't know why our turkeys have in the past smothered their babies or their eggs have gone rotten, but the eggs explode on them and they smell so terrible and stinky. And so what are you guys up to? Find something in the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Little rug munchers, huh? <laughs> yep. Anyhow. Noah looks to be enjoying his little massage there. <laughs> 